So we got deleted. Uh, I don't even know his name, but if, if this channel go, I deleted. Um, I ain't even gonna lie. Buddy made like a whole twenty-two minute and thirty something second video on why he's sick of J Cole or why he hate J Cole. And I'm not gonna lie, we gonna get into it. You feel me? Like. Everyone's not seeing eye to eye with J. Cole right now because, first of all, nigga, you threw out a diss song, then took it back, and then trying to... I guess you tried to drop another another track or another apology or another diss. I'm not sure, but we're going to see what they talking about on this video. J. Cole fans might as well back out and unsubscribe right now. Y'all are about to hate everything I have to say. And I hope I get under all y'all skin. I'm going to be honest with you. I hope I irritate your soul. Matter of fact, drop a clown emoji in the comments. Welcome to Gotham City, bitch. I'm about to terrorize that ass. I'm about to really bully this nigga. And I'm about to bully his fan base. And I ain't here for y'all to agree with me either. Ask me if I care. Go ahead. Ask me if I care. You can't cancel someone who doesn't give a fuck. And unlike your favorite a rapper i don't backtrack and apologize you know me i'm i'm youtube's biggest I villain the, the new biggest villain the reason why i say that is because my my opinion is not going to be popular you might not like anything i gotta say do you want me love me like that J. Cole is still a goofy, the passive-aggressive rapper. Being passive-aggressive should never be praised, by the way. And if I didn't have to worry about monetization in the first few minutes of this video, I would call him a bunch of other names off top. But I'll get back to that after the three-minute mark. Don't trip. This guy really pulled off the ultimate con, convincing the world he's some saintly sunset cruising philosopher type of nigga on a bike. Get out of here with that. On his recent drop, Port Antonio, Cole takes a moment to address the big three B between Drake, K-Dot, and himself. Listen, man, this isn't meant to criticize his talent or undermine his writing skills. It's about exposing his lack of integrity and his false claims of moral high ground. It's all a facade. It's fake as fuck, and people keep falling for the shit. They say I'm picking sides. Hey, don't you lie on me, my nigga. To start another war, hey, Drake, you'll always be my nigga. This is called gaslighting. Not only does he apologize to the guy who's been dissing him and rewriting history by claiming that it's the fans and the people that are writing the narrative of him picking a side, but now he's shifting the blame onto bloggers and fans, accusing them of profiting from the beef. I pulled the plug because I seen where that was about to go. They wanted blood, they wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. As if the bloggers and the fans started it. Huh? So that's why he didn't engage, huh? Because he didn't want others cashing in on the drama? Nigga, we over here minding our business like Kendrick was. You Nigga, you started the drama, or you in... A Drake, first person shooter, wasn't he? I thought, no, was it? Oh no! But from what I think, not even from what I think, like, hold on, straight up. If I'm not mistaken, I think they said Drake. No, Kendrick. God damn! I can't talk right now. <laughs> J. Cole tried to come up with a song. No, J. Cole wanted um, Kendrick on a song. And I guess Kendrick said, nah. You feel me? So he turned around and gets, well, I think it was supposed to be all three of them. But he declined that one. And then they turned around and make, well, I think it was the first person shooter. I don't freaking know. I got to do my research. But it was just like I was not going to waste my time on all this damn back and forth drama, bro. Because it was like. You wasn't saying that shit when first person shooter went number two. You stood by it. First person shooter did. Okay, see, did go number first two. First person shooter. What was it? Yeah, that's what I just said. First person shooter. So you basically went looking for the damn smoke, my boy. You 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 literally threw some ballistic uh, some. Ballistic. Ah, uh, got mother. Whatever. 
No, I didn't go number two. It went number one. But if it would have went number two, it wouldn't have met. Like, you know what pushed the first person shoot over the edge? And I noticed because this is Eve telling me this. It's not like I'm checking for this. The other song would have went number one. It's like, bro, I'm, I'm cool. I almost feel better not having my first number one be off of Drake alley -oop. You know what I mean? Like, I love Drake. And I love that I'm a part of that moment with him, with Michael Jackson. But it's like, bro. Cap. <laughs> Stop it. This man gonna try to sit here and say he wasn't checking for that to be number one when that was gonna be his very first number one. Stop it, Cole. And then the most shocking statement of the whole track. I wouldn't have lost the batter, dog. I would have lost the pro. I would have gained the phone. This is for real a delusional man, child. You sound like a real hater. A hating child watching his friend's championship game. And he tells them, hey, you did good, but you wouldn't have won against me. If I was out on the court, you wouldn't have won against me, though. <laughs> Nigga, sit your ass down. You was on the bleacher. Shut the fuck up, hater. Call over here wanting to be the narrator uh, 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 or the the championship game and he tells them hey you did good but you wouldn't have won against me if i was out on the court you wouldn't have won against me though nigga sit your ass down you was on the bleacher shut the fuck up hater call over here wanting to be the narrator or the commentator of the infinity war we don't need you to do that bro <laughs> sit down somewhere. Nigga we seen it. your lyrics aren't changing our perspective nigga we seen it we're trying to change the narrative and shit we seen it and then he sneaks in some lines like i'm a killer with the pin <laughs> There's fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. Yeah, okay. Then why act like you need therapy over a hip-hop beef, man? This is hip-hop. You didn't have to engage at all. If you're as morally upright and walk a truly virtuous path, I would think at 40 years old, your big man age, you wouldn't have fallen into this beef in the first place. You would have naturally knew it was wrong from the start because evidently that's your whole rap persona, right? Which is actually a crutch. You lean on this persona. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Um, <coughs> when J Cole made the diff the diff song toward um, Kendrick, I was like, "Hold on, bro! You basically going back on your words. Like, you made uh, you made uh, you made Middle Child, right? I think it was called Middle Child. And in that in that song, you said a certain lyrics where." Or you said, yeah, you, it was a part where you said you won't beef with a nigga. And no, you said if you beef with a nigga, it's going to be legit. It won't be because your shit ain't selling the same. It won't be because some nigga slid in your lane. But evidently, you didn't take that serious because you said, even if a nigga slid in your lane. So you came up with first person shooter, you and Drake, boom, right? Made that track. Released it. Kendrick probably didn't like it and said, nigga... Nigga, what big three? Nigga, it's just big me. Nigga, bomb. You feel me? And then you drop the track. You drop the diss track, what, might delete seven minutes later or some shit? And then come back and apologize. Which, honestly, once you made that song, like, seven minutes or, like, I might delete later type shit. I ain't even gonna lie. I was low-key kind of disappointed in you. I wasn't disappointed in you because you respond back. I think I was low-key kind of disappointed because I, when I heard that song, I was like, man, J. Cole ain't finna respond back, you feel me? Like, nigga, don't be, he don't be doing that rap beef, so he's not gonna fit here and be talking about, like, like, he ain't finna be sitting here and talk, like, going back and forth, like, you know, dissing a nigga on, 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 on oh my god. Y'all gotta forgive me, man. For the one that's been on my YouTube, y'all know it's been a minute, and uh, y'all forgive me, because I feel like I'm moving. On when shit gets tough, bro. <sighs> my bad. Basically, what I was trying to say is, you basically lied to the audience. You said that you wouldn't go back and forth. You said that you wouldn't, you, you, you ain't gonna beef with a nigga unless it's something legit. I, and then you come out and do the diss track, and then you pull it back. It's like a kid slapping you. You slap the kid back, and then you're like, "Oh, my bad, bro. I ain't mean it. I ain't mean it. I ain't mean it." And then come back again and try to drop. <clears throat> I'm assuming this this other song that you dropped was basically trying to clear shit up. Like, hey, I know I fucked up. I know I didn't have your back, nigga. But guess what? I still love you, nigga. I'm still here for you, nigga. Or just like what he said, it's like supposedly what you're trying to say was Kendrick wouldn't. Kendrick would not have won that battle if you actually was in that bitch. So, technically, you and Drake would have just double team. Y'all would have just double team freaking uh, Kendrick. Which, don't get me wrong. I'm, 
like that, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't really get that much subliminals from uh, Future. But Kendrick, Kendrick, Kendrick was the one, like, once he came on, nigga, he went straight to, and y'all, y'all knew where he was coming, y'all knew where, like, what he was saying, you feel me? So he, basically, I would say, in my opinion, that was two on one, he took two niggas on one, but y'all would have turned around and double team him, so, like, I don't know, like Buddy said, I think that's stupid, like, you like, oh yeah, you know, you got that, but you had, like, I know my re my 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 shit a little re uh, off. Like, well, you should have stayed out of it. Just, I be trying to talk way much faster than what my brain be trying to tell me. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Like, I can say all this shit in my head, and I know what the fuck I'm saying. You feel me? I can make it make sense. But it's like the minute I gotta explain it to an audience, I gotta look at the camera, nigga. I don't know, I'm like, I'm, I know I sound like I don't make no sense, but trust me, give your boy some time, you gonna rock with my, you gonna rock with my, 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 my stupid ass, you feel me, you gonna, you gonna rock with me, I know I don't look like much, I know I don't seem like much, but trust me, just give your boy the benefit of that, you gonna fuck with your boy. It's like all the other rappers that didn't yes, get involved, you should have stayed the fuck out of it. Every rapper who did decide to join knew what was coming and what it meant, but for someone who claims to be the best and constantly throws subliminal shots, you don't get to throw stones and hide your hands when things get messy. Again, every rapper that tapped into this beef knew what would happen and what it meant. Whether they had the dope bars or not, they took the back Flash to the chin and kept it pushing. Rick Ross, Rocky, Ye, Future, Metro, Drake, K-Dot, they all took the criticism and dealt with it like a man. J. Cole is a walking contradiction. Yeah, this is when I'm gonna tear that ass up. This ain't that Diddy party, bro. This ain't that Diddy party. He presents a no, righteous Diddy. rhyme style with a noble attitude, but beneath all that lies envy and jealousy that runs deep. This is the same guy that dissed the SoundCloud generation. Remember that? Just because. Just for the hell of it. Which started the whole Fuck J. Cole movement. <laughs> Absolutely right. Like, I'm not gonna lie. When that whole fuck J. Cole movement was going on, I'm not gonna lie to myself, at that very moment, I thought it was just a J. Cole and Lil Pump, right? A Lil Yachty. No, wait, Lil Yachty. No, that's the redhead boat. That's the redhead to do. Uh, Lil Pump. If I said his name wrong, forgive me. But, I thought you were throwing shots at Lil Pump. I, like, I don't, I don't know if he had actually a future. I don't know where all of a sudden... It can't like where all of a sudden you felt the need to diss the the new SoundCloud rapper, the new up and coming rapper, because to me it was like, well these niggas are doing a thing, so if they're not mentioning you in a song or not saying anything to you, why even pay any attention to it? Why even give it any kind of clout? But no, you felt some type of way with these new artists coming in. You felt some type of way with these new artists coming in, and you were. You wasn't having it, so you just felt like you had to say something. You like you like that one girl that always got like the last the, the last word in or or some shit. You feel me? Because in my in my opinion, if them niggas didn't fit there and actually kind of bash you in no type of form or whatever, why did you need the need? Why did you feel the need to actually go say something? You feel me? Because when you drop the. You had dropped something when you were referring to them niggas, and it was like, damn, that's what so long. I can't even freaking remember it. But you still took shots at them to the point where Little Pump felt some type of way, like, damn, that nigga felt like 55th. What you think fuck me for? You feel me? So that nigga turned around and said, fuck you. At first, I was like, man, this is kind of childish, whatever. But now hearing it and kind of putting some of the pieces together, unless I'm wrong, yeah, okay, you know what? Nah. I see why Little Pump was on some, you know, F.J. Cole type shit because it was like, nigga, instead of giving these youngin', these youngin', like some kind of knowledge or some kind of wisdom or whatever, you went straight to bashing them. And then what's so funny, even when you're bashing them, you decided on the song to at least give a few advice. Like it was something about, okay, you made a little money, you made a little money from this rap game, but don't ever forget. Freak. 
it was something that you said and that's where I want to say just a little bit you gave some kind of knowledge you feel me type shit but whole time you could have did that without even starting a diss so I don't know bro you came and dropped another song after the apology cause it's been a minute I don't think you should have did that Like, people had already forgotten about you doing the whole apology, whatever. Now it was just Kendrick and uh, Kendrick and Drake. But now that you come back in and, and drop another uh, drop another track, it's like everybody's like, uh, uh, God damn, nigga, make up your mind. Are you going to beef with a nigga or not beef with a nigga? You talking about you see where this shit was going to lead? Like, we're the one that was sitting here in your ear, in your ear talking about, hey, bro, you should go do this. You should, you, hey, first person shooter, bro, tell, tell them nigga they, you feel me? No, you you in a freaking Toronto nigga did that shit. He did this unprovoked. Instead of taking the new artists under his wing, he dissed them and criticized them. Have you heard what J. Cole had? True. Um. Because when the whole uh Lil Pump shit was going on, talking about, you know, fuck J. Cole. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I, was, I ain't gonna lie. I was just like, bro, like... Why would you sit here and say fuck J. Cole? Like, what did he do to you, bro? Like, you just got into the rap game. Like, you should find... Like, you should try to be close to a certain nigga that can push you on a whole nother level in that industry, but... When more people started talking about the situation and why there was the whole, you know, fuck Lil Pump... I mean, fuck J. Cole. I see why. Like Buddy said, you didn't, you sh instead of taking them. He did this unprovoked. Instead of taking the new artists under his wing, he dissed them and criticized them. Have you heard what J. Cole has dropped? What are, I mean, you heard what, it. Yep, he heard it. Okay, that's okay. You knew that question was coming. What do we feel right? about it? Yeah, what do you think? I, I, it was cool. I don't, I, I don't listen to J. Cole. I definitely listened to it. It was flooded. It flooded my shit. It was everywhere. Why? Because everybody said he was talking about me. Absolutely. Who else would he be talking about? What other littles? Either me or Uzi. Little Bow Wow? Right. Honestly, I don't give a fuck. Wow, you get so much props. You just a 17 year old. <laughs> And he said either it might be me or a little pump or some shit, right? That is one. But at the same time, you just didn't like any nigga that was coming into the rap game at the time that had anything named Little. Little little Yachty came in the bitch and I ain't gonna tell you, lie. It took some time for you know people to vibe with little Yachty music type shit. I ain't gonna lie. I think I only like to this day I still only like three of his songs. Little Bo, uh, I don't think Broccoli is his, but if that Broccoli is is it if, if Broccoli is his, then I fuck with Broccoli too. And um, just for the night, you feel me? But I think it was just the fact that J Cole didn't like the fact that in his era he had to do. Like rap battles, uh, selling CDs, um, you know, trying to do some kind of perform, like trying to perform some way to promote his name to the point where you got these, these new niggas, where they got everybody got a hold of social media. You feel me? So social media made it way easier for them to blow up. Other than like J Cole's era. J. Cole era, you had to sell CDs at the back, at the back, uh, which I think, or you was handing out mixtape. You feel me? But I just think J. Cole didn't like the fact that all these new niggas found a way to like get into the industry real quick instead of going through like a little bit of trial tri tribulation, which some of them do. But I just think J. Cole didn't like the fact how. It was so easy for them to get success. Like, you know, like, damn, nigga. To J. Cole, J. Cole could have been like, bro, this nigga only got one good hit, and that's what. What do J. A little punk guy. Gucci Gang? Let's just say that was just. Let's just say, you know, that's one good ass song that he had that kind of blew him up. 
and J. Cole respected, like, this nigga ain't no, um, MC, this nigga ain't no lyrics, like, come on, bro, this nigga only dropped one song, and he blew the fuck up, like, you, you like, that's what it could probably be, and he ain't like that, because, you know, how people just could blow up overnight just by putting this song on TikTok, I did my death one time on TikTok, went viral with it, Mm-hmm. Lame ass jet. At the time they all gained high popularity that Cole always wanted and envied. J. Cole around that time would gain high popularity that Cole always Lame ass jet. At the time Okay, so you got Divina, straight trash. Lil Dick Lil Dicky, I think he was more of a comedian a comedian rapper. 21 Savage, Kodak, um, G Herbal. Uh, I guess they're about to have G E V and E40. Nigga, ain't E40 too damn old for the damn. Hmm. They all gained high popularity that Cole always won. This one got XX to Tasha Young. Um, 8 Boogie? Yeah. I said 8 Boogie. 8 Boogie with the hoodie. Uh, PN, PNB? PNB, Ace Playboy, Cardi, and. In envied. J. Cole around that time would often claim his B-list celebrity status, knowing he technically wasn't the f- Which, I'm pretty sure, just by those two, um, X double uh... Cla- uh, freshman class, half of them, or most of them, blew up from... How easy it was to put their song on social media, and I think that's what J. Cole didn't like. Fan favorite and his envy and jealousy shine through the cracks when attacking the SoundCloud era and basically straight hating on niggas. Now, a lot of you and myself could say in some ways he was technically right about some of the SoundCloud rappers. However, a lot of talent came out of that wave. XXX, Juice World, Uzi, and hell, even Yachty, if you want to be real. Everything he said about that era only worked on a few artists, but didn't work on the ones who made an actual impact. And they went against his narrative of bashing the SoundCloud movement, and which I would like to point out, he only dissed them for clout. They were the wave at the time, so for him to take shots would keep him in the discussion. Art has always been raw. These were normal kids that produced raw and authentic. Okay, I didn't think about that part too. That is the marketing um, campaign way too, because you see these little niggas are. Blowing up with the SoundCloud right now, they got buzz to their name. They got, they got, you know, whatever. So you gonna talk your shit towards them? So all the eyes can fall on you. And which I believe, even when some people don't really agree with, you know, some person talking shit about their favorite artist or whatever the case is, they might tend to go look at some of your songs. Or try to find the best song you you have, and I think that right there also helps because it end up adding more views or more whatever, to, uh, more listening um, stream to your music because it's like nigga, what do you be talking about like that? I I think he, he makes sense on that. Music. They came from nothing and created their own lane. And please don't mention his high morality and wanting to lead the youth to a better outlook in life and try to act like he's morally better than these guys. Don't try to argue the fact that he was just being a leader to the youth when this nigga fucks with Drake. Drake raps about the exact same things these young kids were, like drugs and fucking bitches and basically doing all the things he dissed the SoundCloud rappers for. But he condones it with Drake. 
Drake and does music with Drake and doesn't mind if Drake does it. I guess the difference is, is that Drake can actually rap and Drake doesn't back away from a beef. So he decides to be a hypocrite, a straight up hating ass hypocrite. He would then later backtrack on everything he said about the SoundCloud movement while talking to Lil Yachty. At that point in time, you were kind of also, eh, fuck these new niggas too. Not outwardly. I never did anything I don't think outwardly. That, well, maybe I did. Did I hate these rappers, especially the amateur eight week rappers? Why the fuck? J. Cole at that point found like one of them niggas like, what? No, I think I ain't never said that. I mean, if I did say that, well, I had the reason to say it because at that very time, that's what was going on. Like, instead of, instead of him being like, well, yeah, I was saying that because at the time, this and the third, but unless I'm tripping, let's hear it again. Well, maybe I did. Cloud movement while talking to Little Yachty. Then later backtrack on everything he said about the SoundCloud movement while talking to Little Yachty. At that point in time, you were kind of also, eh, fuck these new niggas too. Not outwardly? I never did anything I don't think outwardly. Well, maybe I did. Did I hate these rappers, especially the. Not outwardly, but. I don't think I did. Nigga, you got caught. Nigga, just think you got caught. Amateur eight week rappers, Lil, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of like came at all of the new generation. Yeah, but it was. You see how this nigga didn't try to take accountability and act as if he was attacked for no reason? Yachty didn't let that shit slide. And he had to remind him that he came for a whole entire young generation, which he then admits to hating on Soldier Boy for the same exact thing and basically admitted to being an overall hater. A lot of that shit for me. I was conflicted because on one hand we partying all the time to this music but on the other hand i'm like man this shit go against everything that i think that i am or who i am. i had some fake morals around the time soldier boy came out i don't know how this happened but i had a, a realization within myself but at that time i had resistance similar to when you came out and your mm. class came out i had resistance nah that's not the thing that i love like what y'all fucking with this <laughs> like i was one of them yeah. and it was literally a part of me that had a realization so i was like bruh you a hater like yo you are literally hating fast forward when y'all came out mind you i'm coming off my biggest album ever like 2014 uh, forest hill drive he felt like he was the shit and y'all couldn't tell like, him nothing boy i did it mm -hmm. this down the third and then right before my eyes shit is shifting completely I, completely shifting mm -hmm. it's like man with that shit on we didn't care about that shit no more bro like my knee-jerk reaction to that music was the same it was and this shit boom boom i had to have a conversation with myself like nigga you hating again Throwing stones and hiding your hands. I don't understand why J. Cole talking about false prophets. But didn't mention higher ups, changing name to Amber Cole. These fucking entertainers are playing about the rules. Sucking government dick for sake to the state cool. This guy also went at Kanye West when he not only used Kanye's song to break through mainstream with Workout Plan, which Kanye had to sign off and give him the okay to do so, basically using Ye for his first mainstream hit. This dude has multiple tweets glazing Ye throughout his career. For him to then take shots at Ye unprovoked just because he disagrees with Ye's stance. And while everyone has the right to speak up and share their opinions, even if they weren't asked to do so, yes, it's okay to disagree with someone. However, we all know Ye isn't a battle rapper to begin with. He doesn't battle rap. He's most likely not to respond on the track, but most likely in an interview or a rant. Most of Kanye's music is about self-uplifting and harsh motivational songs to work out to are just brain food to be great. The first time he's ever made any kind of actual real diss track was in fact the Like That remix against Drake and Lucian Grange. So at the time of False Prophets, this guy takes on an easy ass target. Let me diss a guy that I know that won't make a song back at me, who happens to be in their prime, so I'll gain attention through hip hop for That's one of the, the one you can hit them, uh, no, 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 they, they, they'll hit you and have no fuck, but as soon as you put hands on them, nigga, it's a problem. Coming at one of the greats. Basically, some more opportunist type shit. And another attack for clout. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jay folds every time. 
False Prophets, which that song wasn't about him. There's one verse that applies to him for yes. sure. But if you listen to that song, that song is about what this shit is exposing and what I, you know, I got to check myself about. And Jay I checked myself like on that song. That At one point in time, I, I put this dude on a major get pedestal. Caught in his and he ain't the only one that's been there. Jay so been there. You know what I mean? Like, Pac been there. Big been there. Nas been there. It don't it's, make no it's sense. a bunch of people that have sat on that pedestal of like, bro, you inspire me. And these kids come up to me and they tell me the same thing now. And there's nothing wrong with that. You inspire me. But it's when it's at an unhealthy level. Nah, nigga. You ain't full of nobody but your dumb ass fan base. That's why Kanye to this day don't fuck with you. You just never stand on shit. Every situation you backtrack. Or you I was going to say his fan base ain't nothing but a nigga that's 40 and up. So, of course, they're going to they gonna dislike the new generation too. You like to drop out of the fight and act like it wasn't like that and everyone took it out of context the same way you did the soundcloud rappers and now how you're doing kendrick and drake situation you like to backtrack j cole would then still later praise kanye when the genius documentary dropped in 2022 showing his support and admiration he posted a picture of kanye on his instagram page saying thank you for this kanye west and cootie rock phenomenal vulnerable powerful sad inspirational insightful wonderful masterful grateful to have watched are you guys really gonna give props to somebody you think is a false prophet that you took shots at like let's be for real here man throwing stones and hiding your hands and then there's the recent k dot situation where he jumps on a track that's clearly aimed at his so-called friend fully aware of the beef between dot and drake to make it worse Fully aware of the beef between Dot and Drake to make it work on a track that's clearly aimed at his so-called friend. Fully aware of the beef between Dot and Drake to make it work. That's where J. Cole fucked up because he was like. Me and Drake is about the biggest thing besides the Super Bowl. And Kendrick wasn't having that. Worse, after Kendrick revealed that Drake had invited him to collaborate on the exact song that dissed him, and he declined it, would mean Cole knew about the situation, the reason behind it, and still chose to take shots with his friend's rival, playing all sports in his music videos that only takes two players, like chess, ping pong, football, boxing, the Spider-Man meme. It was loud and clear what Drake and Cole was doing. They were throwing stones. I've seen some Cole fans stick up for this behavior though, saying that he fell victim to Drake and didn't realize that Drake was using him to aim at K-Dot. And they tried to- Ain't no way he felt, uh, he felt victim to uh, Drake because you're a grown ass man. You should have been able to read the room or read the energy that- that Drake is giving off to know that like, hold on, this is not going where I think it's not going where I think it, it like, you know, like I, ah. Let's say he didn't realize that it was a Kendrick diss track at all. And I call bullshit on that. Not only is Jay. Okay. Okay. That's what I wanted to hear. Um, how the fuck you been in the music industry for so long and you can tell when a nigga is making a diss track about another nigga and and woo woo through <clears throat> you feel me but you can't tell when somebody is trying to diss a rapper that wants you on the music or like like not even that wants you on the music basic what i'm saying is like You've been in this rap industry for uh, some time now to understand when niggas got beef and they're going to go at each other in a song and you could tell what like who they're talking about by the way they're talking shit about whoever in their song. So how the hell you can't like how the hell that you didn't know when you went to go make that first person shooter track with Drake 
that he w- was sending shots at somebody. And then, let's just say, for example, if you did pick up on, you know, he was throwing shots at somebody, wouldn't it kind of be a little smart to be like, so hold on, bro, like, who are you talking shit about? Like, who, who are you throwing a diss at? You feel me? Like, what the fuck they do? Like, you f- like feel me and type shit. Like, how are you not able to tell that? Cole about to be 40 years old making him older than both parties involved he builds his entire music persona around being an analytical rapper and you're telling me he suddenly couldn't read the fucking room and he became oblivious to the shit so when he was called out by that's what I'm fucking talking about like like he said it how the fuck that you can tell by reading the room, like, like, listen, listen, like, my bad, hold on, just, just, just listen. Old, making him older than both parties involved, he builds his entire music persona around being an analytical rapper. And you're telling me he suddenly couldn't read the fucking room and he became oblivious to the shit? So when he was called... That's what I'm saying, you couldn't read the room, the, t- the like, to f- make you scratch your head and be like, what, like, hold on, who, who did going to earth? But unless you're going to tell me, like, bro, you so much of a Drake uh, meat writer to the point where you just don't see no wrong in your um, in his um, in your eyes. He like he he don't do no wrong in your eyes type shit. You feel me? Like those kind of parents that's always putting up for the goddamn kids, even when they kids should probably be locked up or some shit. You feel me? But I think that's what it was. I think that. When Drake gets, well, I think when when Cole gets around Drake, he turns into a little fan base, or they turn into a little fan base. They sub uh, towards each other, or whatever the case is. But it was just like, how could you not read that? You feel me? So it's like, like I said, unless you're so much in love with this nigga to the point where you just, if this nigga said let's go, you just go, let's jump, let's jump, like. Called out by his friend, Kendrick, for clicking up with his foe, Drake, Cole releases a seven-minute drill in a response, completely disrespecting KDOT's catalog, saying how we really and truly felt this entire time. Again, unprovoked, because Kendrick's like that verse was only a response to what Cole and Drake did loudly. Kendrick never broke J. Cole's character down the way Cole did to Kendrick, and it revealed J. Cole's true feelings that he's been keeping inside this entire time. A lot of people have amnesia and selective memory and besides the j cole fan base the seven minute drill track wasn't well receptive or praised actually a lot of these bars that he said this is light work at the point when i pull up to park to come to the pod and then work in the building i can hear this playing off the phone so i get out and say yeah what you think light pack if he's saying light pack and amani said light pack there's a few other I've heard just playing it under the gas station. It's been on. Everybody says. I think this is intentionally light, though. No, it's not the time for intentionally light. It ain't light. the time. Bro, y'all can't tell nobody the how to They fight. had a number how one. How I said it before he did this. Come on, Freeze. You can't I tell nobody how to fight the Freeze. Hey, look at me. Look at him, Freeze. It's not friendly time at all. And I feel that Cole noticed that shit. He didn't give Kendrick the time to even respond. With him apologizing, knowing in this sensitive ass era, the sensitive ass society, if K Dot were to respond directly to Seven Minute Drill after that apology, everyone would have crucified his ass for it and would have asked the questions like, why attack someone who surrenders? Why bully someone that says sorry? That nigga knew what he was doing, man. Cole says it's because of Q warning him and now he feels bad and doesn't want that burden on his soul losing his friend. Stop it. You just showed your whole ass twice. You're not K Dot's friend. You're the nigga in school and would ask the question of our society if K Dot were to respond directly to Seven Minute Drill after that apology. Everyone would have crucified his ass for it and would ask the questions like, "Why attack someone who surrenders? Why bully someone that says sorry?" That nigga knew what he was doing, man. Cole says it's because of Q warning him, and now he feels bad and doesn't want that burden on his soul losing his friend. Stop it. You just showed your whole ass twice. You're not K-Dot's friend. You're the nigga in school or just in life that our parents told us to watch out for. You know, 
the jealous, envious friend, the snake in tall grass, throwing stones and hiding their fucking hands. Drake has every right, every right to feel like Cole portrayed him. He does. I mean, look at the timeline of Drake and Cole's friendship. They worked closely together way before J. Cole's breakthrough in music. Cole knew exactly what that first person shooter was about. Literally made a seven minute drill song standing on how he felt, then backs out and leaves Drake hanging as if he wasn't the other half to the song that started this whole battle to begin with. Yeah, that shit don't work in the hood, nigga. Niggas will get fucked up for that shit. That's called a snake, a flip flopper. That's wishy washy as hell. Cold a J. Cole, the type of person to help you instigate something, and when it comes time to get down. Keep gone. Type of nigga that will run away when his homie getting jumped. What friend let 20 niggas go against their people yeah, alone? See? Especially when it was something that they helped start. And y'all try to say he's preserving his peace. Nah, man. He's just soft as baby shit. He's weak as hell. This nigga trying to act like he didn't make threats that led up to the war to begin with. And now all of a sudden he wants peace. He claims to be a peacemaker, but throughout his career, he's only shown hate, taking shots, but never standing by shit. Never standing on it. Always hiding behind the idea of the peace he talks about. I'm sick of Cole fans only accusing Drake for first person shooter, as if it wasn't both their song. If you're going to hold Drake accountable, then that should go for cold too and anybody new here that ain't never seen my content i can't stand drake's ass he's a culture vulture and also a pdf file i don't mess with those so i'm not sticking up for drake but i could be unbiased i could be unbiased a little bit i'm not one of those people that that act like someone's not a he after a while when they kept saying uh drake is a culture vulture <laughs> I was trying to understand like how right until like they started going down the list and then I'm like oh shit like nigga you were just doing all this shit just to stay irrelevant you were doing all this shit just so when the time come when people want to talk about numbers or collapse they can always just be like oh yeah you know Drake was on this one or you know Dr Dr Drake this and that on on human being. If I was Drake, I wouldn't mess with Cole. Cole's a flip-flopper. And, and he left him hanging. Because if Drake would have apologized after Cole, Cole's a flip those people that, that act like someone's not a human being. If I was Drake, I wouldn't mess with Cole. Cole's a flip-flopper. And, and he left him hanging. Because if Drake would have apologized after push-ups, the world would have... back to that just so they can be like well drake you know drake got a collab with this person or drake be making music with this city that city type shit you feel me instead of you finding your own way to make to make a uh how would i say this you couldn't find your own sound to make your career so what you started doing with Doing the culture vulture, nigga. You 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 were stealing other people's bites. You 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 were stealing other people's line. Or like, you feel me? Caved in on him, and they wouldn't have gave him the same Purple Heart that they try to give to J Cole's ass. I'm not here to convince y'all though. I'm, I'm saying I'm not here to convince y'all though. I'm here to talk shit. This new song proved how much of a bitch he is between both K Dot and Drake. Like some female sleeping with two niggas and can't choose a side type shit. It's lame as hell. And then J. Cole proceeds to hop on a song with Rocky. Once again, his quote unquote friend's foe, knowing he was clearly throwing shots at Drake, just so he can later say he has respect for Drake and Port Antonio. He basically did to Drake what he did to Kendrick Lamar. And then that's Drake. 
Drake's karma. Honestly, it's funny as fuck. However, that just reveals the true snake ass nature that J. Cole represents. Throwing stones and hiding your hands. J. Cole, go ride a bike, nigga. You're not fooling nobody but your dumbass fan base. The beta squad. The beta boys. Take that high virtue shit on, man. Your bars hold no weight any longer. This is hip hop, gang. You shouldn't have started nothing if you can't stand on it. Y'all niggas condone spineless behavior. Y'all are easily tricked into believing he's doing the right thing. And his fan base refused to see the bitch assness in him. He uses that as a crutch. When he's proved he's done this exact thing time and time throughout his career. And you guys say, oh, he's such a good guy. Look at him ride his bike. Get the fuck out of here. Cole is definitely a beta male. Drake is zesty as fuck. Don't get me wrong. But this nigga always holds himself as an alpha. Whether he's pretending to be or not, he stands on what he does. And he says what he got to say. He doesn't let people push him around. And he stands on all 10. He has a spine. And he takes his L. J. Cole is spineless and folds under pressure. People act like we saying J. Cole can't rap. This shit ain't got nothing to do with it. His skills ain't got nothing to do with it. He's a facade like Drake. Want to be conscious and morally correct, but it's a front. The same as Drake wanting to be gangster is a front. They're two peas in a pod. They're both facade ass rappers. So pretty much that was a backhand apology to K-Dot. His new track confirms that. Saying he wouldn't have lost, but he would have lost a friend. What kind of backhand statement is that? Niggas throwing shots, but taking it back at the same fucking time. Like what? It's petty and it gives auntie vibes. And to be honest, the song sounds like he's taking shots at K-Dot, mentioning bots. I gotta dig up dirt and pay the whole team of algorithms. That makes Drake uh, Cole sound like, um... Hold on, hold on. I... Statement is that niggas throwing shots, but taking it back at the same fucking time. Like what? It's petty and it gives. Un uh, oh, okay. So if after you done made the apology, like all right, nigga, you should have just went your way, right? Like everybody was already clowning you, saying whatever, but like you know, another day, uh, another whatever. But at the same time. You had to be one of them niggas like, man, I ain't trying to fight you, bro. I ain't trying to do all that, da, 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 right? You feel me? And the shit is finally dead. And you're like, because, you know, and then you turn around and be like, well, shit, you know, because if we would have fought, nigga, I'd have beat your ass. Like, nigga, what? Instead of running the fade like you could have in the first place, we were going back and back and forth. You did it, but you waited until this shit died down. Everybody's calm. Blood is 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 like flowing. You know, like it's supposed to type shit. And you gonna turn around and be like, "Oh, I would have beat your ass too, nigga. If I would, if like, if we would have actually fought, nigga." Vibes. And to be honest, the song sounds like he's taking shots at K Dot, mentioning bots. I gotta dig up dirt and pay the whole team of algorithm bot niggas just to sway the whole thing. One of the main Kendrick disses throughout the beef of him being accused of using bots for his streams and using bots to dislike Drake's songs. Like, for example, here's a nuanced opinion that's actually true. Did Kendrick use bots? Yes. Does it matter? And did our people outside loving this song? Yes, like nigga, you you see the people outside. <laughs> you could use bots and also have everybody outside loving the record. Now, I, I I'll be honest with you. I talked to my man from Spotify. I won't say the name right now, but legit Spotify nigga. He said, "Hey, yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what that person on your stream was talking about. Them streams." Them Kendrick streams is real. Shouting out Drake directly too right after that? This nigga would say some shit now after the whole beef died down though, huh? His actions spoke volumes during and after this whole beef. And it seems like now he's still fighting to be in the big three conversation when he officially eliminated himself. Hey Cole, go ride your damn bike, bruh. 
no one cares. J. Cole, the passive aggressive rapper. That nigga sucks. He's trash. I don't care what his song sounds like. I can't stand when people say he could rap. He could make great songs. Okay, well, Drake can too. That don't that don't make Drake not a bitch. Drake's still a bitch, in my opinion. I can't stand motherfuckers that are so biased. They like to discredit an artist as if they're not great. Drake has made great music. That don't change my feelings towards him. He has made great music. He Before some people get it wrong. Let's just say it like this. Yes, Drake has some good hits. Drake makes a lot of good songs, you feel me? But does that change Do that change of like does it change who you are? Like, does it change what you stand for? No. You can make all these good records, but when you ain't making record, uh, when you're not making um rec, um, you can make all these records or all these songs, tracks. You feel me? But when you're not making no tracks, no like when you're not making no track or nothing like that, and you're actually like you know living your personal life like everybody do, it doesn't. It doesn't go along with the image you give people. So, for example, you make all these good-ass songs, right? They're all a banger type shit. And just this one little beef right here. Just got everybody looking at you sideways. So, with that being said, if you wasn't really a pedal, if you wasn't really a... In my opinion, like a fuck boy, like I like there's times that I be like, you know, with this whole shit been going on, I'll go like whenever I'm on Twitter or whatever, and I'll see people will talk about that shit. You feel me? And for you to sit here and be like, like not even like, goddamn, I. <laughs> I be on Twitter and I'll see the whole like whatever feud going 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 back and forth, right? About Kendrick and Drake. Now, in my opinion, if you wasn't really a pedo and all that shit, like they say, bro, no one would give a fuck about what's coming out of uh, Kendrick uh, Kendrick mouth. No one would buy that shit because you're not that person. Like, if you really fit the scenario that you t that you tend to paint people, and that's what you really are. Then it'll be okay But the fact that you can make the world love you With all this shit um, that you do And then behind closed doors You're really like this Nigga they ain't gonna wanna fuck with you bro Nigga they ain't gonna Like come on bro <coughs> My bad um, But yeah No one ain't gonna They ain't gonna fuck with you bro Like this nigga dead ass say to any girl that's in love, you better hide your little sister phone. Besides calling somebody a snitch or what, like or a bitch, that nigga called you a whole pedal. That's where he really kills you at. That's what really ignited, uh, done added a uh, fuel to um, fume to the. Gas, because like I said, if none of those was shit was true, it wouldn't even be a big deal. But the fact that it's like, well, wait a minute, and then on top of that, your only real beef that you had, like dissing wise, was Meek Mills. Like I understand, uh, pu um, Pusha T, but honestly, it was Meek Mills. But once a different dark skinned nigga come at you after you, you turn into a Karen. Like, come on. You can't lie. He has me written for like, other people he before. Keep what the motherfucker is like, a bitch. And he's still a bitch. J. Cole can write. He is tired. a great Hold rapper. On. As far as writing stuff down. He's still a bitch. They're both. Uh, but the motherfucker.
He has made great music. He can write. He has written for other people before. But the motherfucker's a bitch. And he's still a bitch. J. Cole can write. He is a great <laughs> rapper as far as writing stuff down. He's still a bitch. They're both facades. The fakest motherfuckers in the industry. One don't stand on shit. Acts like he's this conscious rapper and has high mor morals. But he does sneak ass, conniving ass, snake ass shit on the side. And the other one tries to act like he's some me yank. Like a gangster, like he I had lost my train of th thought on when I what I was trying to tell y'all. Well, on, on what I was trying to tell y'all in the first place, right? Like when I say I be on Twitter and everybody, like you know, when I see them going back and forth about the Drake and Kendrick situation, and niggas be in the comment, like niggas be in the comment saying something stupid, or whatever, right? But the more allegation or whatever comes out, it just sounds to me like, okay, yeah, Drake has good music and all that. But, like, his personality-wise or, like, him as a human being himself, he a fuckboy. Like, there's no way to put it. Like, let's just say, even if you do put on a certain artist, right, for Drake... Like, when everybody, like, I think that was another thing in the comment when they were like, oh, Drake uh, took Kendrick on his first tour or some shit like that. And I feel like, okay, that's what's up. And that's what's up, but why on earth would you turn around and smash his girl? And I get it. Some people going to be like, well, nigga, it's the girl's fault. Like, come on now. Like, how you not how, how you not committed? You know you got a man, but, like, you feel me? I, I know. I know there's two, two ways um, about this shit. But at the same time, how the fuck, how the fuck is some some nigga be bringing Drake around, feeling like you know they can trust him this and the third? But in all reality, Drake at the top of nigga. When if you bring him around your bitch, he's gonna fuck or he's gonna try to fuck. Either like you know if they like if they give it up, they give it up. If they don't, congratulations to the one that don't give it up. You feel me? They solid. But that just still goes to show you. You can bring Drake around and think he's all like you know a good guy and all that, but in reality, he's smashing your your your, your uh, significant other, and then want to laugh in your face like you know playing your face like that shit's sweet like like Drake, uh, Kendrick had said in the song like Drake uh, Little Wayne was locked up and you fucked on his girl. Like, the nigga that put you on and really gave you the biggest platform, you really turned around and smashed this girl? Like, you just have no loyalty, nigga. You just have no, no, uh, I, I'm assuming uh, self-control. But you, you just have no, you have no respect for your friends. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I would have really loved... To know what would Drake have done? What would what would Drake would have done if he brought a rapper or whatever around his girl, thinking he could trust them, and they end up fucking his bitch? Like, what do you think how he would feel? Because if I feel like you know he would feel the same way some of these niggas felt for the one that he smashed their 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 um. Chicks and um, their old lady, nigga. That's basically it. Like, He'll do some <laughs> shit when he ain't never lived that life. It is what it is. I'm bullying right now. This that villain talk, man. This that villain talk. And I hope I pissed every last one of you J Cole bitch ass <laughs> fans. I hope I hope you guys are pissed nah, off right now. I hope you guys are angry. I hope you guys go in my comments and light it the fuck up. Go ahead, do your thing. Fuck J. Cole movement is back in action. Fuck J. Cole. What? Yeah. <laughs> that shit is just stupid, bro. Like, it's not stupid, but it's kind of fucked up. Like, Drake want to sit here and be like, oh, he feels um, targeting or all this attack and what. But, like, you put it on yourself, nigga. You were doing all this fuck shit to niggas. Like, isn't it ironic? 
how the fuck like everybody seen sh- sitting here talking shit about Drake doing this and that, but ain't nobody sit here and said like, oh, what uh, what this person did to Drake, how this person fucked up Drake or some shit. But I. Uh,